a structural engineer, and I help build structures like the one we're in right now. Like maybe next year, maybe next month, maybe even today. That's why California is one of the most advanced areas in the world when it comes to earthquake safety. And when we built the California Science Center, we definitely had earthquake safety in mind. Just look up and see how the ceiling is constructed. You see those diagonal pieces of metal? That's called lateral bracing, and we made it to support the building whenever things get a bit shaky. See how the lateral bracing resists the forces created by an earthquake by transferring these forces down to the foundation. I think we just had a small earthquake. Nice timing, huh? Well, it just goes to show you that earthquakes happen all the time in this part of the world. Most are too small to notice, but it's not uncommon to have one. So, what was I saying? Oh yeah, other structures with earthquake-resistant features. Check this out. This is the Los Angeles County Emergency Operations Center, and it's designed to buy isolators. They can move 16 inches in any direction, so when there's an earthquake, they absorb the shock instead of the building. If you'd like to check out a similar type of base isolator, there's one right there with you in the Operations Center. Here, Caltrans construction crews enlarge a footing for an overpass. And a steel jacket now encases this concrete column, helping it to withstand earthquake forces. When an earthquake hits, people who build structures don't just worry about buildings. We also worry about gas leaks, which can cause fires, and broken water pipes, which can cause floods. So take a look at this. We've mounted some of the major machinery at the Science Center on the springs. So if things get a bit shaky, there's a bit more room for movement before things start to break off. We also have an electrical generator for emergency power. 